how tight that is. That is brilliant. Doors, you can actually open with one hand. Badly. <laughs> Do you see how easy that was to open then? Yeah. With one hand. <laughs> the first time ever I've been in the Van Gogh tent with the oval doors that are supposed to open with one hand. And it's actually worked. Yeah. And look at look how tight. The inner is, instead of sagging in your face constantly. A drape of thing touched each other, probably. Huh? If that touched the outer thing, a drip. Why? Because it probably ripped. Oh yeah, it's just, that's difficult to get to touch the outer. <coughs> Let's touch, uh, have I touched it there? Yeah, I managed to touch it there. But I've really got to push on that. Now these oval doors that you're supposed to be able to open one-handed and close one-handed I've never been able to before and that door is just stuffed in a pocket for it Closed and it's just as easy to open one-handed Right, I'm sitting in the exact centre of the tent and between me and the top you can see how much room there is. And if I move to the side where I'd be sitting, I'm still in the middle of the tent but with enough room for a person next to me I still have that much room. And it wants to sit as I was cooking, facing the other way. Sorry about that. I'm sitting in the door. I am sitting up. There is enough room just about for two Bergens in there. So if I reach out. It's actually the same length as my arm. To give you a rough idea. So you could easily easily store Bergens in this area and then you've got the same area down here well, uh, so there's plenty of room there two pairs of boots to cook and to get in and out of one of the doors Still that much room from the edge. I know it looks as though they're touching under there. That's it, touching. I'm five nine. Yes. A good six inches from the top of my head to the edge. The door doesn't slope, or well, it hardly slopes at all. Inwards, so I'll just sit up, and then you can 
see how much there is for my feet about the same and beside me there's plenty of space for another person I think this has got to be the roomiest two-person tent I've ever been in. Beside the door, you've got a mesh panel for ventilation, which is pretty big. You've got one each side, and the same down the other end. Actually, just to show you even better, my size 9 foot. So gives you an idea how big that is. Above it, you've got a mesh pocket and a slightly bigger one below it, and that is in all four corners the same. In the middle. Probably put put in about maybe three kilos of pressure on there. Then, as a rough guess, I can't fault this tent at the moment. No, it's the first pitch in my garden, and I love it. I don't know if you've seen any of my other videos, uh, one where we went to a hidden waterfall, the wind in the Van Gogh Tempest was blowing the toggles so much that hold the, the ones that hold the door open when you want them to open, because they're so close together, it was, they were banging against each other basically and really annoying me. Now, this, that isn't going to happen in this, because... There's one toggle, and then across here is the other toggle. They can't bang against each other. Great. It was easy to pitch. The poles are cover coded. The red one there, and the yellow or gold one there. The gold ones. Uh, I wouldn't say fiddly, but it, it, at the apex here, the actual sleeve has, is shaped as well, which I suppose has made it a little bit, it, it got stuck there, and it took me like two seconds to get it unstuck. There's none of the pole sleeve ending, and then starting again, and having to find it again, so it, it just feed straight through a single pole sleeve which is great the same on all of them because the last tent I had like this the, you fed the pole through it came to the end of the pole sleeve and then you had to find the start of another pole sleeve which is a pain this was really easy the, the poles just went straight through really easy to pitch <laughs> 